Hey guys, I am super excited because today we are going to be unboxing the brand new LOL Surprise Royal Family. Though each individual member of the royal family has previously made their own debut in past series, this is the first time the entire family is packaged together. This is going to be a limited edition set. So before we get into it, I wanna go ahead and take a look at the outer packaging. It is gonna come in this hard plastic carry case that is a really bright neon pink. We've got some hearts on here and some triangles and I believe even some circles underneath. This is pretty standard packaging for the families to come in. There are several exceptions, however. So the front part is going to be that standard dome shape and the back is going to be completely flat. It makes it really convenient to unbox. The nice thing about these carry cases are they can be used as a storage spot for your dolls once you get done unboxing them. And it comes with this really cute handle with a braided side. It almost looks like something you'd find on a purse or a satchel. Inside, we're gonna find 45 plus surprises along with each of the members of our family pictured here. So let's go ahead and see what we have. So to start out, we're gonna find our zipper partition right here. But before I go ahead and open that, I noticed that there are some zip ties in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut those now. So once we use that little zipper in the front, we can just go ahead and get right into it and not have to worry about these pesky things. Those don't wanna pull out, maybe I have to open it. Okay, so now that those are cut at least, We'll go ahead and flip it back over and use our zipper here. Take the packaging off and maybe we can pop this open. There we go. And the zip ties will pull out easier that way. Okay, so again, taking a look at it, we do have the circles and LOL surprise printed in big letters on the back. All right, so opening it up, looks like we have a couple different layers in here. Our very first layer looks like it's actually going to be our family, which I'm kind of surprised at. I thought that we would have them a little further down in the box. So, Let's actually take a quick peek and see who we have underneath. Okay, it looks like our big sister is underneath, so that's why. Okay, so without losing all of our stuff, let me see if I can find a way to prop this up. Well, there's no pretty way to do this, so let's just take the top layer out here and set that aside and work on what we have. So we have little sis the brother, the pet, and the big sister. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the little sis. She looks very cute. Unbox me, gladly. So let's find our little zipper. And we do have a double layer, and it actually looks like we have a clue. I wasn't expecting that. So we've got a dress and a fan, and our clue says fashion fan. I don't doubt that. Getting into our second zipper here, we can kind of get a sneak peek of what the ball underneath looks like. It's gonna be this really light pink, something else here, and we have our sticker. Okay, no trap doors on this. All right, so opening this right up. Let's move this back so we can see a little bit. Got a couple different surprises in here. Feels like our doll. Let's start with one of the small ones. We're gonna have this pretty purple paper. Haven't seen that before. 
Okay, so inside our first package, we have this little accessory. It almost looks like it is a pearl necklace with four different layers. Very fancy. Inside our next package is the keychain attachment. So we can put that on our ball. There we go. Next up feels like our bag. And it is, oh, that is a neat purse. Very, very regal looking. So we've got a pretty white bow and it says BB in a lime green and almost a fuchsia color on the bottom. Last up is our little sister. Ta-da! She is so cute. It almost looks like she would color change because I definitely see some discoloration on different parts of her here. And she almost looks like she's wearing a little mask. So we'll go ahead and do a color change at the end and see what she does. And it looks like her pacifier might be removable too. I love her hairstyle. She's got that cotton candy pink. And I believe I read somewhere that this family in particular with the hairstyles on the girls is kind of modeled after Marie Antoinette. She's got little pigtails in the back and a tiny little lime diaper. Very sweet. So we'll put her off to the side and get into our next ball. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and work on the pet. And our clue on the pet, it's a ribbon that says number one and a curtain, best in show. That's cute. The zipper even has a little puppy paw print or kitty paw print on there. And our stickers, I believe these might color change too. This ball, being that it's a pet, has the little paw prints on the outside of that as well. Very neat. Okay, and this is going to come with a handle that we can attach here in a minute. Okay, so I believe this is our sand. ahead and take a look at what this looks like once it's unpackaged. Most of the pets actually come with um, a little container here of sand or call it kitty litter or whatever you want to refer to it as. Yep, and there we go. It says LOL and it's got the paw prints on it. Okay, we'll put that off to the side. Next up, we have our bottle. You know, I was just thinking, I don't think that the baby came with the bottle. And I think she probably should have. Hmm. Have to look that one up. So this says Goo Goo, and it says baby on it, and it's in that lime green with a white top. Next up, oh, we have a kitty scooper for that little litter box that we just got. Can't have a litter box without a scooper. Our last accessory is a collar. Oh, that is so sweet. It's a little black bow with a tiny little silver bell. Last up, we've got our pet, and ta-da! 
we have Royal Kitty Cat. Royal Kitty Cat is white and she's got that same hairstyle as our baby. And I think I forgot to mention baby's name here. Baby is actually going to be called Little Royal Heine. And our kitty is Royal Kitty Cat. She's got these bright green eyes that match her bottle and she's got the same wave in her hair except her hair is a cotton candy blue. She's got this tiny little heart on her cheek as well. Very nice. Put her off to the side and we will work on, let's do our brother next. And we've got a basketball on the zipper on this one. So the brother was actually first released in the boys series one and re-released with the big sister there in the color change surprise me and bro. So like I said, we have seen these before. Thought I saw a thought I saw a clue on that one. Hmm. Maybe it's underneath. Oh, here it is. All right. No, these are our stickers. Okay. I don't know what happened. I thought I saw a clue. That's odd. Just checked the packaging down there too, and it is not in my trash. Ah, never mind. I found it. Okay, so we do have a clue. So it's a prince and a pair of shorts, and the clue is fancy pants. There we go. Okay, so this ball's fun. We've got a couple different trap doors here. So let's go ahead and start with the one on the side. And in this one, we have our shoes. Okay, now these are kind of a pearlescent blue with gold soles, gold trim, and gold laces. Our next little door here, or compartment I should say, is our bottle. And that's actually going to be kind of a purplish pink color at see-through with the gold top. Now in our actual trap door here, we have our outfit. Oh, wow. And look at that. That is fit for a little prince for sure. So our jacket here is going to be um, gold and it has the fleur de lis pattern on it. Underneath we have a vest or a cummerbund. It's hot pink with gold buttons and we definitely have our ruffly trim here on the top. The pants are really light pearlescent pink. And we actually have one more surprise as well as the carry case. You guys, this is so neat. Inside this ball, we actually have, it almost looks like a little throne room. We have a cushion and we have these little seats. You can put it down and make sure that your doll has somewhere comfortable and up to their royal standards. And as always, you've got the little spot on the bottom where you can stand them up. And go ahead and check the sisters. Actually, we have a little bit of a pattern on this one as well. So inside the cats, we've got some, almost looks like cushion material too, and a little mouse. And the little sister has a cushion inside too. All right, I should have, should have noticed that before. Okay, our next surprise here is going to be... It looks like it is some kind of sash, like a gold sash. Yeah. Okay. Last up, we have our doll. And we have his Royal Heine. 
very cute. He's got those pastel blue eyes and these really awesome curls in blue as well. And if you zoom in real close, he does have a tiny little birthmark. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about something that's a bit controversial on these dolls. So any parents out there, don't get surprised. The boys, they do come anatomically correct. All right, putting his royal hiney to the side and moving on to our sister. And then I will go ahead and put the first layer off to the side as well. So sister is gonna come here with seven surprises. And our clue is a lemon and a cat. Lemon and a cat. Sourpuss. Hmm. Okay. She looks like she's got some extra layers of plastic on here. We've got our stickers. Okay, so for the first outer pocket here, we are going to have our shoes. Our shoes are gonna be that pinkish purple magenta color, and you're gonna have a little bit of heel on them, and it looks like it's gonna have almost like a fancy sock trim on the top, like those ruffled socks that you'd wear as a kid. A little bow on there too. Next up is going to be our bottle, and it is that pearlescent light pink with that darker pink, pinkish purple on the top of that one. Our trap door is our outfit, and yeah, that is definitely Marie Antoinette styled here. It's got that lime green, but all of these bows definitely remind me of her and her hairstyle. We've got that light pink undertone here. That is pretty. Okay, opening up our ball, we have that same setup that brother did here in his ball. Got our handle. Our last accessory is this very tiny pacifier. A little pacifier. Gotta be super careful when you're opening these because some of the accessories are very small. And we have Royal Heine. She's adorable. She's got some lipstick on and some mascara. She's got the same light color eyes as her brother and matching pearlescent light pink like her little sister. She's got a little heart on the side of her cheek as well and the pigtails are longer. She doesn't outwardly appear to be a color changer, but that doesn't mean that she isn't. So we will try that out at the end of the video before we get our dolls dressed. Okay, I'm gonna move this off to the side so we can get into our OMG doll. All right, so it looks like our last layer in here is going to be our OMG doll. Actually, we've got, we've got a few more things in the bottom. So let's look at this before we get into her. So this says Dance Guide, and it has Miss Royal herself on the front, and it shows you how to do her dance. It looks like we actually just have two of those. Okay. We've got our MGA Stay in the Know About Their Products card. We have our royal family here, and these are actually stickers, so you can peel these off. And then we have our instructions as well. 
these talk about a battery replacement. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what's going to happen when we open up our bigger doll. What does she have inside? So let's appreciate the packaging here as she looks fierce. It looks like we've got a little pre-portioned area that you can tear off very neatly. We made it almost all the way around. Nope, I'm going to make that worse. Okay. There she is. She is beautiful. Look at that hair. All right, let's see how I can open this up the rest of the way. All right, I went ahead and cut all of the little plastic pieces off the back as well that's keeping her attached in here. So we can just get right into it without those getting in our way. So to stand her up and see what we have, we've got, let's take our doll out. I missed, missed one. Here she is. This is Miss Royal. She is from the Dance 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 series and she actually has a black light surprise. She is beautiful. She's got this awesome outfit on. Again, she's got all of the bows all over her as well. She's got these really cool braids in almost that cotton candy purple lilac color with the baby pink in here. She is very regal and fancy, and just like her siblings, she has that little heart on her cheek. She is wearing neon yellow eyeshadow and has a blush pink lipstick on. She's got the neon to match on her sleeves and on her nails, and she's got this really cool hoop skirt. It's actually kind of cute to see her wearing it as just an accessory. She's got these black stockings with the neon yellow at the top as well. She's got these awesome pink shoes. In the back, she even has the white bows going down to match the rest of her outfit. All right, let's see what else Miss Royal came with. Of course, she's got her stand and her brush, which I don't know why you would want to brush out those beautiful braids, but in case you chose to, she's got her brush. We have our accessories here, and we have our garment bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. Let's see if we can get our stand put together so Miss Royal can stand up and we can look at her in all her glory as we unpackage the rest of her stuff. So these do come with two. Sometimes they're different sizes. These look pretty close. One looks like it might be a bit bigger. They do that so if you're wearing a particular outfit, um, some of the outfits have a wider hip area and the dolls don't want to stand um, with the the smaller attachments here. So she definitely has like a natural tilt to her head here. I keep trying to straighten her out, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so in our little hat box here, we have something. Let's pull this out and see what this does. So it's a little light. Doesn't appear to really shine anywhere. Oh, okay, that's cool. So this is the black light. Surprise, so this is supposed to be the black light. And if you get real close, you can see that she actually glows. It looks like she has on a masquerade mask. And her eyeshadow glows. Let's see, does her outfit? Her outfit gets a little glowy too. And so do her socks. Her hair brightens up as well. Let's see anything on the back. That's awesome. 
I'm glad it came with the black light because I was wondering how that was going to work. Not everybody has a black light at home. Very cool. Okay, let's turn that off and see what else we have. So we have a few things in here actually. So let's start with this. We've got her fan. Every debutante needs a fan just in case they get a touch of the vapors. We have her earrings. These are different. These are really cool. They're a little blue bow and they have the fancy black gem in them. They hang down. Those are really pretty. And we have a choker necklace. It's got like black pearls and the broken heart symbol. You're going to see that symbol a lot in the LOL universe. Okay, and then we have our garment bag, which now I have this little black light. I'm curious, does it do anything? Oh, the hanger does though. Look at that. All right. Very cool. Now, if you're careful with these garment bags, you can actually save them and reuse them. So I am going to attempt to do this delicately. See if I can keep this garment bag. If we shimmy it off from the top, hopefully we won't rip the bag. You don't have to keep the bag. You can tear it if you don't care, but it's pretty. So we have another skirt. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Does not appear to be. Okay, so yeah, we've got another little skirt. And it looks like it is that neon. Let's check it out. Yep. It's got that black light effect too. So that's cool. You can probably either replace the hoop or the whole bottom part or maybe add this over top and see if you can get that puffy effect to it. All right, so let me get her siblings dressed and we'll put the whole family together and see what they look like. All right, actually, before we get our dolls dressed, let's go ahead and try the color change. When you are doing this at home, this bucket actually acts as a really neat little receptacle here for your water and it sits nicely in this little rectangular uh, jettison here. Um, but for now, just so you can see, we're going to go ahead and use a clear bowl. So starting out, let's look at our little sister. So zooming in here, this is what she looks like before the color change. And after, oh wow, you guys, that's pretty drastic. So she gets that masquerade mask and she gets a hot pink top. Very cool. Let's dunk her one more time. And there we go. Awesome. Next up, let's look at our pet. I don't think our pet is going to color change. Nope. But we can do the tinkle test. So our pet looks like so our pet is going to spit, and does it tinkle? Looks like it should tinkle too, but I'm not seeing it. Definitely is going to spit though. Get all the water out of there. Okay, our big sister. Not a color changer either. What is she going to do? Big sister. Let's see. Philip. Oh. All right. Big sister is a tinkler. Okay. So far, we've got a, one that spits and one that tinkles. Let's see. So, his royal hiney. He is going to, he cries, Oh, All right, so his royal hiney cries. So we've got one of each, oh, there's a lot coming out still. Okay, so we have one of each. We've got a crier, a spitter, a tinkler, and a color changer with 
little cyst there. Make sure I get all the water out of these guys. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get them dressed now. All right, here are our dolls all dressed up and together. I think they look great, very regal and posh, and there's a definite nod to that Victorian time period. That's it for me today. If you haven't already done so, click that red subscribe button below, hit that thumbs up, and or share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more videos from us here at Swirly Pop Toy Unboxing and Reviews. See you next time.